So this week's theme is bedtime stories. And since the theme is bedtime stories, I am going to share with you my personal favorite childhood memories, memorable bedtime stories that I used to have read to me. I never had really people tell me bedtime stories like you see in the movies, like when they sit down and they're all like, once upon a time there was this magical kingdom. No, I just had the hardcover books that people told me. My family isn't very creative. I'm going to go ahead and start with the least memorable, which is, well not the least memorable, but like, we're going by favorites here. So the first book that I'm going to be telling you about is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Oh my goodness. I used to have so much fun with this book because there's like tabs in it and you like flip the tabs to like count how much food he was eating. And it was like the bomb and it's the best book like ever. Not my very favorite childhood book but it was definitely one that I remember because I basically just remember flipping the tabs. I thought that was the funnest thing ever. And then at the very end, the caterpillar gets like super fat and it's like the best thing ever. So that is the very hungry caterpillar. And then the next book that I have is the saddest children's book you will ever read in your entire life. I am kind of not kidding. And you know, being a kid, like I didn't understand what this book was about but it is called Up in Heaven and it's so sad. It's like, I guess it, it was written to like describe or to like to explain, give an explanation for like to make kids like not be sad when they like lose pets or something, but it's still really sad. And it's about this kid who whose dog died and it's very sad. Her name is Daisy and then it shows like she's like up in heaven like looking down on him and it's very very sad. And he's like no I only want to it's a, it's a... This is just a sad book and I think the reason I liked it so much is just because it's so colorful on the inside. Like, like hold on. We're gonna find a good page to show the colorfulness that I was into at the time. Here, look how colorful it is. There's like flowers everywhere. It's so great. So that is Up in Heaven. And then the next book, the final book that I actually have on hand was my favorite book of all time. Like the best book that I ever had read to me when I was a kid. And that would be, I'm not sure if this book is like popular or not. I don't really know, but it was like my favorite book ever. It's Miss Susie. Oh my goodness. You guys, I can't even express my love for this story. It's just so cute and the squirrels are adorable and it just makes me so happy looking through this book and I just love it so much. So much. My favorite part about this book is definitely that uh, my my grandma would read it to me and she has like the best like storybook voice. I really like her voice for reading stories and then there's this little like song part in here and she would sing to me and it's so cute and I love it to pieces and it's been my favorite book since I was really little and I love it. Still love it, still proud of it, still very happy that it was read to me when I was little. And then I have a couple more books that I used to read, like, all the time, but I don't have them with me anymore because they are gone now, and yeah, it's kind of sad. But definitely some of my other favorites were the If You Give a Blank a Blank, like, that series. So, like, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie, If You Give a Pig a Pancake, If You Give a Moose a Muffin, but those were, like, definitely up there in the favorites. Those are my favorite series of books. Alright guys, so that is it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed hearing about my childhood bedtime stories, and I will see you all next Saturday with another new video. Bye!